Hello, hello, and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Will O'Reilly, coming back at you with a new video. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. A warm welcome from mine. Come stay a bit. You might enjoy it here. If you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for all your likes, shares, comments, and what was the other thing? Uh, uh, shares, of course. That really helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos up to the top. We're almost at 4K subscribers. Gang, gang. Yes. <laughs> so exciting. But yeah, today I'm going to be talking about my personal opinion. This is just my personal opinion, okay? As an Aquarius, as someone who has seen certain trends through the years, and you don't have to agree with this opinion, I thought I would just put it out there because I haven't had a lot of people understand this or agree with me and I wanted to see you know how y'all feel about this so this video is about sexual identity and sexuality my view on sexuality everybody in the world is bisexual why do I say this because oftentimes they're not when you are a female or male and say you're watching a video and you're a woman and you see another woman you're like oh that actress is really attractive or you're a guy and you're like that actor is really attractive that is uh being bi curious that is bisexuality that is attraction to someone of the same sex now, I believe that there is, what is the word I'm looking for? There is a spectrum of bisexuality. Just because you're bi-curious doesn't mean that you have to take the actions. Sometimes people only want to hold hands with people of the opposite sex. Sometimes people only uh, of the same sex. Sometimes people only want to compliment others of the same sex. Sometimes people only want to kiss people of the same sex. Sometimes people only want to date people of the same sex. But in my heart, in my mind, I feel like the entire world is bisexual, at the very least, bi-curious. That is my personal opinion. That is my personal view. I just think that we have a lot of, pardon me, we have a lot of shame surrounding this topic particularly when it comes to men. But I will say in the last 10 years, I have had five different guys come out to me as being bisexual. And they felt comfortable in saying that to me because I'm very upfront with my sexuality. And I'm very accept accepting, non-judgmental to a point. I have to work on that every day to stay non-judgmental as always. I'm not perfect, no one is, but I try to come from a place of non-judgment. And five different guys have came out to me and they were surprised by my response. I was like, oh, that's cool as fuck. Okay. Do you, boo-boo? I like girls too. <laughs> uh, it's cool if you like a guy. And they're like, you don't think it's weird? And I'm like, no, nah, guys. Yeah, I believe this was like 2010, 2005. I was like, we're in 2005. We're in 2010. We're in 2024. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Things are progressing. And with the LGBT community, they did a study in 2003. And they said that in the Gen Z generation, they surveyed the Gen Z. One in five Gen Z associated themselves as being a part of the LGBT community. They associated themselves as LGBTQ. And the millennials... One in 10 millennials said that they were LGBTQ. In the Gen X, it was 5%. In the baby boomers, it was, I believe, 3 or 2%. And in the silent generation, it was 1%. So we are seeing a lot of people coming out more because this was last year, this was a study done last year. One in five people in the Gen Z, one in 10 millennials said they're LGBTQ. This is so exciting, this is so wonderful because we are finally pushing ourselves forward in 
this generation of accepting ourselves and our sexuality as being gay, lesbian, trans, LGBTQ friendly, uh, bisexual, all these beautiful things, pansexual, omnisexual, all these wonderful things, we are finally feeling like we can come out in a space that will accept us or at least feel comfortable coming out to our friends and family as lesbian, gay, or bisexual. So I'm so proud of our generation. I'm in the millennial generation, but I'm extremely proud of the Gen Z generation and the fact that they are claiming their sexuality and they have enough courage to go out and say, yes, I'm a part of the LGBT community. And this is very exciting for our generation. This is very wonderful because we are finally getting to the point in our society where it is socially accepted, where it is non-judgmental, where we have more rights now, where uh, you cannot discriminate in the workplace if someone identifies as lesbian, gay, or bisexual. It is a really beautiful thing. Keep going, society. We got this. So that was my view on why I feel everyone is bisexual. But hey, it's up to you. If you're part of the LGBT community, leave a little heart emoji below. I love you guys. As always, I'm open for birth chart readings and tarot readings. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.